it's Marley from the Energy Boutique with your energy forecast for Sunday, October 23rd. So today is going to be quite the day. If you've been listening to these daily energy forecasts for the last couple of days, you would know that we are about to have a very powerful weekend, a very intense week on top of that, as we move into the shifting energies of today. So what am I talking about? Well, let's break it down. First of all, the moon is in Libra energy, which is kind of ironic seeing that we just are moving out of this Libra energy. Um, but I guess the universe wants us to keep a, I'm going to say balanced perspective on what new information is coming at us, what new energies are coming at us as we shift from one season to the next. So what am I talking about? First of all, Saturn is going direct. Then three hours later, we have Venus moving out of her place of power in Libra energy to jump into Scorpio waters. Then three hours after that, the sun follows suit and dives into Scorpio waters, initiating Scorpio season. This is a very powerful day of energies. If you have not listened to the astro forecast that I have put out for these particular events, I'm going to recommend you do that. It is going to be a little bit of an intense day. We might feel like we're all over the place, especially with that moon in Libra. We're striving for balance. We're striving for peace. But Lord knows it might be a hard thing to achieve as we kind of adjust and acclimate to all of these different energies. So there are 10 different aspects taking place here today, and six of them involve the moon. The moon, before the moon gets started, okay? So the first aspect that the moon is going to be making is at 2.12 a.m., Eastern Standard Time. At 12.07 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, we have Saturn actually going direct. So that is our very first aspect of the day. Then the moon decides to interact with Uranus in a very awkward fashion. And what I will say is that this is going to amplify the amount of confusion that we are kind of experiencing in our inner realms as far as our trains of thought go, as far as our plans go, as far as our goals go, as far as identifying what it is that we want, need and desire as far as emotional safety, security and our relationships go. This, again, let me just remind you, it does take a little bit of time for us to acclimate when a planet comes out of a retrograde and goes direct. Saturn is the Lord of Karma, ruling over our roles and responsibilities. This is essentially a green light go ahead in order for us to get our shit together and actually stop complaining about some of the situations that got thrown our way from a karmic standpoint and actually do something about it. So this brings us a lot of weight, a lot of heaviness, a lot of obligation. This is where we feel uh, the urgency to kind of, you know, take take new responsibilities on um, to really get to work and organize things. And we can feel a little bit overwhelmed with all of our to do lists, our long term goals, our plans. Granted, it will become clearer and clearer on what that plan should be and what our goals are and what that to do list consists of. But we're not going to have all the answers right now. The moon interacting with Uranus is kind of amplifying all of the confusion that we're currently experiencing because of Saturn moving out of a retrograde and moving in a direct position. We're very uncertain, very insecure, very indecisive, very unstable with our emotions and with our thoughts right now. 3.52 a.m., Venus moves into Scorpio. Well, hot damn, our heart space is about to get a freaking overhaul. Yes, we have this water season really looking to cleanse us of the old gunk that we've accumulated over this past month. It is going to be a very transformative time in order for us to get in touch with what it is that our heart actually desires, what it is that we're being called to pursue. Again, please go listen to the astro forecast that I put out about Venus moving into Scorpio, where I did a deep dive in all of the details that you need on how this particular energy is going to affect us as we move through Scorpio season. 
The moon then very awkwardly interacts with Saturn, who is just waking up. Keep in mind, I always like to use the analogy that when a planet is retrograde, it's almost like they're on drugs or they're having a good time under the influence of something where they move inward, where everything is very nostalgic, very fantasy like, where there's a lot of epiphanies and revelations going on in our inner realm. But when that planet comes out of a retrograde and goes direct, it's like we're waking up from a really, really awesome night and it's taking a little bit of time to piece together what happened that night before. We know that there were certain things that we have to remember. We know we had certain epiphanies, certain real good conversations with ourselves that we wanted to hold on to, but it's going to take some time for those particular memories to actually come back and be clear enough for us to work with. So the moon interacting with Saturn in this way, again, is kind of amplifying the weight that we have, the heaviness that we have, trying to really recall what it is that we just spent the last five and a half months analyzing within ourselves, where new roles and responsibilities are concerned, where new boundaries need to be put into place so that we're not constantly putting what we want, need and desire to the back burner in order to do what we think other people are expecting of us. This is very karmic in nature as well. And of course, many of us have had a lot of soul contracts and karmic lessons thrown our way over the last couple of months. And we're really trying to make light of it. We're trying to make peace with it. That's what the moon in Libra is all about. But there is this heaviness, this weight, this obligation of us trying to figure things out and make things right. And right now, Saturn is just trying to get the crust out of his eyes and wipe the drool off of his face. We have to give him a little bit of time to get oriented with where it is that he's currently at. 636 a.m. The sun moves into Scorpio season. Welcome to Scorpio season. Shout out to my fellow Scorpios out there. Birthday season is here. We will get our solar infusion from the sun on our birthday that will download us with the energy, with the light codes, with the mission, with the purpose that we need in order to move into our new natal year. Again, I'm going to recommend you go ahead. You listen to the astro forecast that I put out about Scorpio season. The moon in Libra goes ahead and makes a very positive aspect with the true note. The true note, of course, is our soul's path, our destiny point. We are really starting to kind of see where it is that, guess what? We do have a plan. We have a plan to grow. We have a plan to improve. We have a plan to make something good out of all of this bad. We have a plan to move forward. We have a plan to really identify what it is that our passion, our purpose, and our mission actually is. And of course, we're doing a deep dive in Scorpio season to really unearth what it is that we actually desire, what it is that we're actually being called to pursue. So we're starting very early on this particular journey in Scorpio season. Keep in mind, we are in eclipse energy. So we are at the mercy of the universe throwing some wild card events at us, of course. But as far as we are concerned right now, we are trying to piece together our plan, our strategy on how it is that we're going to dig deep and actually identify what excites us, what we're passionate about, what gives us meaning and what gives us purpose. Venus fresh into Scorpio energy is interacting with Jupiter, the planet of growth and expansion, abundance and blessings. And I will say that this particular energy is popping off in such a way that is going to provide us with a little bit of a learning opportunity, a little bit of a choice point, if you will. So we have to consider the fact that things are going to feel extreme, especially in our heart space, especially emphasizing our current relationships. Why? Because that's what Scorpio energy does. It intensifies everything. It triggers new passions, new desires within us. It really shows us where it is that the connection in our relationships is either needing a little bit of oomph, needing a new level of intimacy or needing to be cut off and let go of. Now, again, we're in the shadow realm of feelings in Scorpio waters. So we are going to have to kind of understand that we're looking at people, at relationships from a different set of eyes through a different lens. Now, Jupiter tends to magnify and turn the volume all the way up on whatever it is that we're thinking and feeling. And to be honest with you, we always start off 
any particular season, kind of dabbling in the darkness before we're able to balance the scales and really tap into the positive qualities and characteristics of the sign and of the energy. So this means we might be a little bit paranoid. We might be a little bit uh, feeling vulnerable. We might be feeling a little bit skeptical of people. Again, we're tapping into our spidey senses now that we're in Scorpio season. We are putting our detective hats on. We are really looking to kind of ask the right questions of ourselves, but also of other people. Jupiter magnifying what it is that's going on within us is also showing us what it is that we want more of. And we find out what we want more of by analyzing what it is we don't currently have. Be very careful that you don't find yourself in the scarcity mindset, the lack of mindset, feeling very sad, feeling very kind of down on all the things that you currently don't have that you want that you actually want to have. Keep in mind, Scorpio energy is all about desire. So Jupiter kind of playing his part here to say, hmm, what do you want more of in life? This is really kind of triggering and activating our heart chakra, Venus, in order for us to figure out what we're not happy with, what we are looking to actually um, change in our lives, transform in our lives, again, Scorpio topics and themes, in order for us to actually end up with the greater, grander plan, vision, dream that would incorporate all the things that we actually want more of. So it is going to be a little bit of a rough ride when we first start off here in Scorpio season, because again, we kind of have to dabble in the darkness and Jupiter just shining a bright light and magnifying what it is that we want more of has a tendency to show us what it is that we're currently lacking. Now, the sun goes ahead and bumps into Jupiter in the same way. Um, and we have to keep in mind that Venus and the sun are moving pretty much hand in hand um, through the Scorpio energy. So when Venus bumps into a planet and makes an aspect, it is very likely that the sun will make the same kind of aspect just shortly thereafter. We have uh, Jupiter, again, shining a bright light on what it is that we need to do to grow, need to do to improve our situation, need to do in order to change and transform our particular realities, shining a bright light on what it is that we want more of and where it is that we've been given some crappy hands in life and where it is that we can make something good out of something bad. The sun is the life force energy, shining a bright light on what it is that we have to embody in order for us to actually move forward. And of course, with the sun in Scorpio energy, we have to embody our darkness in order to find ourselves at a state of wholeness. Again, if you're too much in the light, you're missing the darkness. And if you're too in the dark, you're missing in the light. We want to kind of strive for that gray area. The sun is our life force energy. It is our willpower. It is our determination. And right now in Scorpio energy, the very beginning degrees, we are looking to ask the very, very deep seated questions of ourselves and of the people around us in order to figure out how it is that we got here, what it is that we're happy with, what it is we need to put a certain death to. Again, Scorpio topics and themes, death, rebirth, renewal, transformation. There will be endings so that new beginnings have a place to get seated into. And right now, the sun interacting with Jupiter in this way can feel very big, very overwhelming very over exaggerated, very intense, very extreme. We are meshing Scorpio energy and the Jupiter energy together, which is a whole lot of feeling. And this is the particular point where we are seeing again, our environment and the people in it from a totally different set of eyes from a different lens in order for us to get down to the nitty gritty on what is working, what isn't, what needs to be let go of, what needs to be brought in closer, what it is that we want to focus our time, energy and attention on as far as change and transformation goes. Now the moon in Libra is going to make a very positive aspect with Uranus. Now we started the day with a very awkward interaction that created a little bit of emotional chaos and craziness and detachment with the moon and with Uranus. This is a positive aspect, which means that there's an aha moment happening here. There is a shift 
in our psyche, in our emotions, in our perception, in our understanding. Let me just tell you, Scorpio energy is deep. We're looking at it from the deepest lens possible on a soul level, on a spiritual lesson level, on in, I'm going to say transformative level of self. The moon in Libra, of course, wants to kind of keep things light and fluffy. We're not going to get that particular privilege in Scorpio energy. But interacting with Uranus, the great awakener right now, we're having this aha moment that will shift our perception and understanding. We'll, we'll open up our minds, if you will, to the changes that we have to make to the transformations that are taking place, to the path, to the direction that we need to be walking in order to make something good out of all the things that just happen to be bad. Now, the moon is going to interact with the true note, our soul's path, our destiny's point in a way that would suggest that we do get a choice point right away. Now, what this choice point is going to offer us is a situation being triggered or activated outside of our control. So likely coming from a personal relationship or personal situation in our external realm. And what we're kind of because we're seeing things through a different lens, we are going to be given the opportunity to say, you know what? I either want nothing to do with this and never want this experience again, or I'm all about this. Let me become obsessed with this and have tunnel vision on how I can incorporate more of this in my life. That's just the matter of fact. We are in Scorpio energy. Things are intense. Things are passionate. Things are extreme. So every single time that we are gifted with a situation that pops off in our exterior realm, we are going to be seeing it from a different set of eyes that allows us to see that this is something that either needs to die or this is something that needs to grow. This is something that I want more of or something that needs to be totally eliminated and erased. This is just where it is that we're at and with the day that we're having, with the energies that are fluctuating, having this particular choice point right away is very revealing. It will be giving us um, consecutive puzzle pieces each and every single day to snap together to reveal the greater, grander image, goal, dream, vision that we will actively be working towards. We are going to wrap the day up with the moon in Libra sitting across from directly opposing, creating a little bit of conflict with Chiron, the wounded healer, who, of course, is in Aries energy retrograde in Aries energy, meaning there's a lot of inner reflection already taking place. We've been going through a reinvention of self, a rebranding of self, seeing where it is that our ego wounds have been blocking us from actually moving forward. The moon, our emotions, our intuition, our unconscious self sitting across the table from the wounded healer, the one who exposes the wounds to us and then reveals the resources, wisdom and knowledge within us in order to heal them are having a very great grand conversation right now. And under the influence of the Scorpio energy that we're now in, we are going to dive even deeper into the depths of who it is that we are. And that may mean realizing who it is that we aren't, who it is we do not desire to be. And who it is that we actually want to become. Again, we are looking at the very, very extreme polarized dualistic choices here in life, the opposite sides of the spectrum. And it is very cut and dry in the Scorpio energy on what it is that I no longer want to deal with, what it is I no longer want to embody, what it is I no longer want to be versus everything that I am striving to become. So granted, we have a huge day on our hands. It is going to pose a couple of blips in our day in order for us to adjust to this energy. Things are going to be very deep, very intense, very passionate, and honestly, very triggering. So we have to constantly be asking ourselves to operate from our higher selves instead of our ego selves. Again, very polarized in those particular perspectives and points of view in order for us to really absorb the deep seated lessons that Scorpio season is here to teach us and for us to actually learn what it is that we have to change within ourselves in order to create the change in our older realms.